beautiful women are the most masculine women on earth. And so like a lot of the- Did she blink twice? Blink twice if you need help. I'll beat him up for you. I will prove everything he is saying. We are aggressive, apparently. I'll beat his ass. Did anybody ask him? Who is, like, why does he not want to date black women? Like, you're with an Asian girl. Be with an Asian girl, sir. Like, we really don't give a fuck. That's the thing. I mean, that's always the line, though, right? We don't care. Yet here you are on TikTok, Facebook, whatever it is that you want, posting about it. You, you cared enough to set up the camera, turn it on, and talk about it. See, clearly you did care. Clearly it did bother you abusers don't like people with boundaries only misogynists don't like women with opinions when you hear a man say words like this then you know that you should avoid that man yo what's going on guys so i made a semi-viral tiktok the other day it got like you know 15,000 views almost like a thousand fucking comments in a single day basically i was talking about well, since I've been here in Thailand for one month, I was talking about how, you know, I prefer Thai women over American women. And then I singled out a black women because they're a part of my community, right? And there's a huge issue when you have hundreds of thousands of dudes leaving the country to try and find women in other countries, right? So if I see some bullshit, I'm going to call it out. So I called out some black women as being uh, basically the most masculine women on earth, right? Um, now that is a generalization, but it's totally fine to uh, generalize because that's just how the world works. Yeah, I mean, generalization is how the world works. This, that's very true. It doesn't mean that every single black woman out there is masculine. You know, a, a lot of them are soft and feminine and fit like a lot of the guys like it, but there is a large majority that are aggressive, the boss babe, I don't need no man type. Yeah, the very masculine. Right, um, the exception doesn't make the rule. So there's almost a thousand comments. I went through basically like, like every one of them. I replied to like almost every one of them, right? And there's maybe only one, maybe two at most uh, women who actually had like a rational response to someone. Bro, that is an absolute lost cause. You would just have to nuke your comment section. Q Ripley. I say we take off and nuke the entire site for Morbid. It's the only way to be sure. That I can actually have like a rational uh, conversation with, right? <laughs> but I want to go through uh, some of these comments just real quick with you guys just to give you insight into the psyche of the black American woman and it will just further show like why the fuck yeah, dudes are bro that but would have been because a it's total crazy lost the cause response like got, total lost cause you, are, you are like, lumping them together crap. they're right, not so the going said, to understand they the, don't want to understand absolutely not it can't be their fault it's got to be your fault something's wrong with you lost cause it's like so basically, um, she's talking about, with this mentality, I deserve to get great. <laughs> what? Now, if had he flipped that joke around, oh my God, everybody would have been up in arms. Right? And um, that reaction, it, like, is literally insane. I was, I was laughing my ass off when I first read it, but it, it's literally insane. It's crazy. Um, let's check the next one. This girl said, Bro has a beautiful woman next to him, but still obsessing about black woman. Mental illness. I saw a bunch of comments saying that I was mentally ill. And it's like, what the hell are you guys talking about? All I said was that... Uh, so it's a mental illness. So, again, there's no possible way that it could be us, like our personality. Maybe our personality is a little aggressive. Just a little bit. Maybe we soften some of these edges a bit. Maybe we can tone it down a little. No. Mental illness could not be me. I'm trying to hold my community to a higher standard because this is, you know, an issue that needs to be addressed. Uh, so this girl is basically saying that, like, um, I don't want like an educated woman, right? Right. I hear like a lot of women say this, like, like for the guys that are going overseas, they will say, oh, like you want a poor, uneducated woman. It's like, bro, the American education system is fucked. 
like the the, the same shaming language like Oh, oh, oh uh, you you want to pour? You want to take advantage of the young lady? They, making zero effort to understand what it is or why it is that these people are going out to other countries to pick up people. You know, rather than, you know, what could we possibly be doing or what is it that they like about them over there? It's always their fault, somebody else's fault. I can't understand what's going on. I, men don't want this, yet I have my own idea what men want. Like it's idiotic. You have you you were just in a death spiral. It's getting worse. The American education system is trash. Um, Thai women that, that I've met are, are very intelligent, um, while also being you know soft and feminine, and that's way more attractive than you know, a boss babe, a boss bitch. Um. I, I just don't understand what's so difficult to understand about that. You know, what's difficult to understand that rather than having someone who I constantly have to butt head with about everything, constantly have to compete, constantly does not want to listen. You can go somewhere where she's gonna be just as, be as beautiful, if not more beautiful. She's gonna be more agreeable. She's gonna be more understanding. She's gonna be more willing to do the things that you need to get your lives to the point that you want. Like what's not to like about that? It's every plus that you can possibly have in a relationship. You don't have any of the downside. What's not to understand? Like, like I knew it was fucked, but like once I made this video and I started seeing the response to something um, that I said that was so uh, benign, and then they want to talk about how I'm shaming women. Like, it's not like I, I came on here and I was saying like, oh yeah, black women are fucking trash. They're, <laughs> they're fucking, uh, they're all fucking bitches, uh, fucking whores and sluts, all this fucking ignorant shit. I didn't say any of that. All I said was that black women are masculine and I prefer to date a feminine woman. If a black woman made a video talking about how they prefer to date um, masculine men and then I'll fuck with feminine uh, men, uh, nobody would say a goddamn thing. Absolutely, because women's preferences are celebrated. You go, girl. You get that. And men's preferences are vilified. You know, it's always turned to some kind of negative or something nasty or, or something nefarious when men have preferences. So absolutely, you're right. Like, I wouldn't give a fuck. Um, other men, they wouldn't give a fuck and other women they'd be cheering her on right so the response is just fucking insane um let's see what this girl said so this poor guy flies out to thailand he's having a wonderful time and he's talking about the differences between dating in the states and dating in thailand and one of the differences that he said was that Black women in the United States are extremely masculine. And from that statement, the comment section, his comment section absolutely explodes. Now, it's one thing to have a conversation with logic based conversation, you know, where you say this. You can counter with that. They can come back with this and they can come back with that, you know, back and forth. Good faith kind of arguing. But in this situation, as he very quickly found out, any time that he goes to rebut the situation, there are a lot of straw man arguments or just arguments in bad faith. Oh, they're moving the goalpost. Oh, 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 well, you shouldn't have said anything about black women at all. And because you didn't say anything to defend us, now that's even more, ne like it's this weird, bizarro world where everything that they feel is true becomes fact. 
Right, so he not none of this is what he actually said. He just said they were kind of masculine. But now it's about white supremacy. It's about uh, comparing them to a white feminine standard. That's a whole lot. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the full video so you guys check it out. But this poor guy went through absolute nonsense just because he told his opinion of black women in the U.S. So, uh, shout out to Najee Hoy, the original uploader of this video. Please, I've linked them down in the description, so please check them out. Guys, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. I upload content absolutely every day. And if you have any questions, concerns, hit me up in the comment section. Let's have a little dialogue. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you another time.